Hello everyone, and welcome to a special episode of the Imperial Holonet. I'm GID123. I'm Nero Gold. And today, we are here to discuss about our benevolent overlords on YouTube. Hello, benevolent <laughs> overlords at YouTube. Hi, uh, YouTube. Become. Hi, YouTube. So, um, Cole wanted to discuss about this particular topic, and I think it's only fair to let him begin. So, Cole, begin. Okay, so, about... A month ago, YouTube started um, cracking down, I should say, on content creators, big name content creators, for posting, let's just say, uh, content that was not within their, within their, uh, what am I trying to say, their, their forte of topics and such that they wanted to be discussed on the site, apparently. So they started cracking down on people like Philip DeFranco and a bunch of other people for basically having cuss words, talking about suicide and all that stuff, you know, topics that are typically discussed nowadays, as y'all are well aware of, I'm sure. So that was a cause for issue for a while. And then I think as of yesterday, this video was uploaded a new YouTube system by the name of YouTube heroes was announced in a PR video, basically stating that if that basically it's trying to give now I'm doing air quotes here is trying to give power to the common man, the common man, the, the worker, the proletariat, which we, which basically, what this entails is they're giving people the power to moderate the comments on YouTube, as well as if you get to a certain level in its hierarchy, to mass flag videos, and that I think is a great cause of concern. Power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts, absolutely. Yes. Um, we'll start with the uh, the comment the comment part of this, which is you and I can both agree that the commenting system on YouTube needs work, correct? Need work needs to be reconstructed, needs to be torn down, built up again, needs to be completely redrawn from the ground up. Yes. Yeah, and the big issue that YouTube seems to be taking is. Leading that to the content creators and allowing them to do that themselves, which has only worked but so much in certain cases. Well, it depends but, on how if, if you want to rule over your YouTube channel. Do you want free reign or do you want to be selective? Yeah, if you have people like Geek, Captain Logan on Geek Pollution who's very hands off when it comes to stuff like that, wants to let free reign, I'm all for that. I think I can see them, I can, I can respect that. But at times, the trolls, they get out of control. And I think we've all seen that in one case form or another. Agreed. Yes. Agreed. So, We just this, got trolled recently on one of our videos about uh, bloodlines. Yes. As Red would very much like to talk about, I'm sure, but he is not here, so I will Apparently, we insulted it. Lucasfilm by getting the tile wrong. I didn't know what was actually the tile. <laughs> well, come on, Dave. But so this might look like a step toward the right direction, but my big thing with this is, especially in this and the mass flagging, I guess I'll tackle, we can tackle both of those. Mass flagging is sounds that, scarier than the commenting. Yes, but the issue becomes is where are the boundaries that are set up when it comes to this? Like, I can see this getting really abused, and it may get to the point where it's not. But it just seems oh, very. It will. it will. Everything on YouTube gets abused. Yes. Up down, As, like the up downs, like the thumbs up, thumb down thing that got abused. Yeah, and the big issue is you're giving people basically not even just the regular people, but the regular content creators the power to help regulate content and get special access to the YouTube creators. That seems a bit, how should I say this, um, elitist? Ooh, that just, oh, totally elitist. Like, just the idea of having a ranking system. When you introduce a ranking system, like, that's already signaling elitism right there. Yeah, and I'm sure, and there are some 
cool parts, I suppose, like the, the getting, I like, the other part about this YouTube Heroes incident or news that really is worrisome is how vague it is. Like, they just throw all this out there without giving us any sort of rules that will be abided by with the system or how, like, who can use it and who can't. And where, where are the lawns, lines drawn? We don't know that. Oh, that's just signaling for abuse already. And the issue is, we, I've run up a bit about this. I've looked through a couple of different websites. I've checked into this a little bit. It seems like people don't really, it seems like not many other people do because YouTube's been pretty tight lipped about this since it came out. And also, I should also mention it's how it's hilarious that on that same video, they've disabled comments. Great message, YouTube. Great message. Yeah. yeah. It's just really worrisome. I mean, the copyright system on YouTube is already broken enough as it is. This is just adding fire. This is just adding to the flame. Well, if one of these days, other YouTube just going to collapse and the new website's going to ride and then probably fall, or I don't know, something's bound to crack eventually. They took I down wonder. Blip. They took down Blip, though. So too late for oh, yeah. that. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. They took down Blip. Yeah. Yeah, the thing about YouTube, though, is I don't think anybody ever really acknowledges how, how kind of a big kind of thing YouTube really is. I mean... It's responsible for getting a lot of content introduced to the people, even marketing, marketing, entertainment, anything. It's a YouTube's a great medium for that. Mm hmm. Uh, and, but YouTube's yeah. also have always been kind of elitist, though. Like, let's face it, podcasts like ours aren't going to make it anywhere into the big leagues anytime soon, unless we start yes. actually getting more technical. Yes. You're, and, you're our tech. You're our technician. <laughs> And this might seem like a step in the right direction by giving power to the common man. But I said this to a friend. I said, do they not realize how dangerous that is by giving power to the common man? Mm. I mean, they, it, they, I've not seen much discussion about how people – I haven't seen many people say about how dangerous that could potentially be. Because the other, th and the other thing I want to ask you is – don't you think that we could get to a point where content creators who – big content creators like like PewDiePie, Ray William Johnson, uh, any of those people, they start getting into this system and building their way up? Isn't there a good chance that they could start using it to favor their content toward others through censorship? Uh, yeah, I mean that's, that's, what, that's what happens when, you, when you're in the top. You don't want anyone else coming to take your place. So you make sure it's just you and your small group of friends. Yeah, and people like PewDiePie have boomed recently, and this could and this could just. I am very concerned about what this means for YouTube overall. And let's face it, YouTube's not been. And to give some to give credit to get to point out something, YouTube's not always been great at communicating their changes, if you will, to the public mass. They have been really poor about doing anything like that. I feel like we should have Steve or Alex here. <laughs> they, you know, I don't know. I feel like they they'd be better at this kind of thing. But yeah, uh, they, they should make a video too about this stuff. Uh, I agree with that. I mean. This is, you know, kind of like you're keeping all the little guys out from getting, from moving on in the world. Yeah, and it just seems strange. I mean, it seems like it's there to reward people, but it also seems very, I just... It seems I, like it's there more to reward the people who already made it to the top. Exactly, and to the people who are going to invest time in this, and you know people will, there are trolls out there who want nothing more than to see these people suffer. We've seen that on Geek Pollution, we've seen that on plenty of other different channels that struggle with the same thing day to day. But what if, like, I'm not talking about just the trolls, what about, like, someone like PewDiePie to say, you know, I'm going to abuse this system, they're already on the top of their game. If you fight listening to this, we don't think you're a bad person, by the way. Yeah, I'm sorry. We're probably pissing off a lot of people by saying, oh, they're going to go after her. This is hypothetical people. Just bear with us. But. So it's a possibility. So it's possible. 
It is a possibility, and that's why they haven't listed they haven't listed a firm amount of rules that really dictate how this works. Like this is the most the most standoffish YouTube has been about a pol about not policy change, but about a new era, about a new thing in their system, a new part of their system. Right. I, I mean, know Google, about, I don't know about much about the ins and outs of YouTube, so I don't. I don't know. I don't know too much about it either. I just know about what I research and find out. Right. But even so, it's. It's still a cause for concern when you can have people that just go and mass flag videos and then maybe it even gets that channel dis discontinued. Well, those are well, – well, they're, it's, they're like our – in the real world, you know, people can easily manipulate the system to their advantage and the rest of us can't because we don't understand it. It's so confusing. There's, a, there's an analysis waiting to happen. Someone needs to get on that. Hey, Steve, what are you doing this week? <laughs> <laughs> oh my um but yeah um the only interesting the other interesting part i'll mention about this this might be a very short video but the one the other thing that's mentioned at when you get to the top which is also very there are two things when you get to the top level level five and that is you can t contact the youtube creators directly or staff members or whatever See, that, that's and, favoritism right there. You get to go straight to the big boy while the rest of us have to wait. Yeah, yeah that's that's already maddening in and of itself. And also, apparently you'll get special access to new features of YouTube, special products. We don't really know what that means, but basically it's... Free stuff. Allegedly free stuff. Support our website and you get free stuff. Because who doesn't want free stuff? Exactly. Uh, the I have a feeling it sounds like our to... political system, people. Yes, I don't get political on this channel, well, like I do, but still. <laughs> yeah, it's pay for play. Or, that's uh, that's exactly what this is. Pay or pay, for play or pay to record. Play, pay to play, and record. <laughs> And for any of you, I haven't uh, explained this yet, but basically the way this system works is basically for captioning videos, uh, reporting negative content, ne air quotes, negative content, and responding correctly to people on the forums and getting best answer, you get points. And the further up this point skill you go, the more stuff you get access to in this system. That already sounds stupid. Yeah. And Are you saying I have to put a good comment just to get points? What's a good count as a good comment on a forum post? A five hour, a five page essay, or are you going, dirt, oh, that funny. It's. The kitty cat yeah, play the piano. Yeah, it's very. It's hard to really say where this will go. I imagine, if you want my input as to how this is going to go, i got a feeling YouTube's going to get enough crap about this because they're already getting crap about this as it is. I mean, if you can check their, the video of where this is shown. We'll post the link to this video in the description, by the way. But this video already has enough dislikes going for it already, so I have a feeling they may pull out of this pretty quick. Has that happened before? The YouTube is never doesn't buckle. I don't know if how YouTube buckles the same way EA doesn't buckle. Well, that's what we'll have to find out. I mean, as this long is as just they're one... making the money. You know, who who cares? <laughs> well, unless their yeah, corporate website exactly. collapses. Yeah, and if they got enough flack for this on videos, they might because it's only it's not in their entire site necessarily as much as it is just a new part they want to try to implement. So, we'll have to see. Uh, we, there may be more videos from us about this in the future, depending on what they come out and say, or depending on what the YouTube creators actually tell us about said changes. I want to go back to the star system. Let's make that change. There, there's a lot of... Uh, bring back video responses. That too. Bring the Hashtag bring back video responses. Where's the fair use? All that good stuff. Yep. Ah, uh, YouTube. You're so oh, you you're so accessible, and yet you are so stupid. Yes. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say on the 
on the topic. If any of you follow my Twitter, you all already heard my two cents on this to begin with. But and I just was making rant comments about it because I didn't have much to say. I mean, I don't really, I don't follow this YouTube stuff. I just know it's all messy. I just follow what could potentially be damaging. Oh yeah, I agree with that. Just, it just sounds wrong. Just something about point system and some people YouTubers getting special treatment than other YouTubers, especially the ones that probably don't deserve it as much. Because if I had my way, Captain Logan would be on the tippy top of that of the people who deserve the best treatment of YouTube, and yeah. Steve and Ian and Alex and all our good friends. And us. Another thing too, like people like Storpy, people even Matt Monday. Matt Monday, Matt did a really good video on this topic. So if any of you haven't checked his video, I would recommend going through it. It's probably more informative than anything we have to say. So please Mr. check that out. Mister, uh, Mister, mysterious Mister Enter did a good uh, video about this YouTube thing a while back. I'm uh, talking about the censorship thing. Like that's weird. Like what if I say the F word? Does that mean my video and channel can automatically? Taken down. It's like half of YouTube. Well, it could be demonetized, but that's a problem for a lot of YouTubers because they make a living off this. Exactly. And this can only fan the flames for that even more so, depending on how the commenting thing turns out. And if I had good tech skills, I would totally want to make a living off this too. Because uh, it seems like fun. Yeah. Uh, but I won't. Um... But, and it's very and the thing about making a living off YouTube, not to get too political about this, but it's very uh it's very make or break. You and you don't always know if you're gonna get through and you're not you don't know if you're gonna be the next big booming thing, you know. Exactly. I mean we should be the next big booming thing, but we're not. Uh, okay, I'm I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We 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 know we're not that. We would we would like to be. We would like to be. I don't know, but I always see like people who like were way more interesting to listen to than you know some of the big wigs, uh, but they're always yeah. so small. I mean, though I always kind of like, I always, even though I kind of like the smaller channels, I always feel like smaller channels are more pure of heart than the big ones. I feel well, like yeah, the big ones you, are sold out at this point. Uh, well, plus you can actually have a discussion with a lot of these people with a lot of the smaller ones than you can with the big with the big YouTube content creators because it's always. Uh, yeah. It's always hit or miss whether or not you're gonna get a hold of them or not. Like which like, Twitter's, yeah. Which Twitter's kind of done a better job of that lately, but that's hard to say. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of like why uh, I I don't like Channel Awesome as much. Uh, I mean, I still like Channel Awesome. I just feel like you know, they've gone corporate. Uh, they've lost Anything this. else we should say? Uh where's the fair use? Where's the logic in all this? And where's your what's your opinion if you have one? Um, I don't know if we did this topic any justice. Probably not. Uh, I'm just, I'm hoping, I hope if nothing else, this people gets people reading into it. Be active in what YouTube's doing, people, because if you want to continue having YouTube as it is now, then keep an avid lookout through all this stuff, because it could have some detrimental changes. Remember, you outnumber the YouTube by a lot. Yeah. So it's your, it's on you folks to do what's right, and us too, to continue spreading the word, and you know, fanning the flames for <laughs> justice and YouTube, uh, for a better YouTube. Uh, so yeah, that's our podcast, and till next time, I'm JID123. I'm Miracle telling you where's the fair use. Where's the logic? <laughs>